Another Northern Kentucky city voted tonight to extend protections for the LGBTQ community. It's a move that sailed easily in other cities that have taken up the similar votes. Cassie Arsenault is in union with how the vote went. Tonight, this ordinance failed with only one out of five commissioners voting yes. This would have been the first such ordinance in Boone County. Right now, this legislation does exist in Kentucky in 23 cities or counties, nine of those in northern Kentucky. The legislation is more than a symbolic gesture. The ordinances add sexual orientation and gender identity to discrimination protections in employment, housing, and public accommodations. Aside from that, it could have built a bigger argument for a statewide anti-discrimination fairness law. Efforts by the General Assembly have failed each year. The overwhelming response was that our residents feel the current laws provide for equal rights. So my decision this evening is based on listening to the residents of the union who I'm very proud to represent. I think there seems to be this confusion that Boone County, because we have so many conservatives, that that means we are the most conservative. But that's not true. We have a lot of conservatives because we don't like the government telling us what to do. We don't like the government wasting money. <coughs> but that doesn't mean that every single Republican thinks it's immoral to be gay. Unfortunately, this evening, not one commissioner would agree to give us comment on their vote or the outcome. In Union, Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. Fairness ordinances have been voted down in other communities like Bowling Green, Owensboro, and Richmond.